it's the Insane Gamers, and welcome back to Minecraft. Now, towards the beginning of the LP, I mentioned that I would uh, not only be doing a survival Let's Play, but I would also be occasionally building something with creative mode and showing it off. Well, this is one of those episodes where I build something and show it off, because, you know, honestly, I just feel like bragging. Oh my god, I found a wild slowpoke! Anyhow, <laughs> uh, here's all the materials that I hacked in to build this. Uh, any materials I hack in will not be used in my creative LP, obviously. I'll dispose of them as soon as I'm done building it. But without further ado, I introduce you to... A HOLE IN THE WALL! That's right, I figured out how to build a hole and put water in it. Aren't you guys amazed? Uh, you should be! I should win a medal for this. And there's also a button that does something. Hmm... Sneaky. Now, um... <laughs> bits of block everywhere, because I've just literally got finished building this. Anyway, in here we've got my secret ender pearl stash. Lo, 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 I bet you're all jealous. Let's go ahead and close this so I don't get creeped. And there we go, we're safe from creepers. And skeletons and anything else that wants to steal your massive multitude of ender pearls. Now you may be asking yourself, how could anybody such as myself build this? Well, scary music. <sighs> Well, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, you need to have a basic knowledge of redstone, and you need to have these materials right here. Uh, repeaters, redstone, redstone torches, sticky pistons, this is pretty expensive if you're playing legit. Water buckets, not water blocks, I'm just cheap, so I hacked water blocks in, as you can see. It's on, uh, too many items here, so there, there we are. Uh, you can use lava for this if you want as well, but this is actually a really, really awesome for a secret room or a secret base or um, any, basically anything you don't want people to find as long as you hide the button well. You can also use pressure plates, blah de blah de blah Anyway, let's open up this thing so you can take a look at the guts on one side. Basically, it's three pistons and that piston at the top. And uh, you can put a piston here. If you don't want the water to flow out, you can put a little hole and have pistons closed when you push the button. Um... But that's just a little bit more complicated, and I was lazy. So, uh, <laughs> that's basically the gist of that. Let's close this, and uh, let's go ahead and build one. There we go. Um, now, the best place to build this is in a rock face just like this. You're going to want a naturally occurring rock face, uh, and you're going to be tearing it apart. So make sure you keep most of the blocks you get from it, because you're going to want to rebuild it basically how you found it. Because notice here, it, yes, it does look a little bit awkward, but it looks more natural than a door just in a wall. So, um, let's start off by picking where you want it. I guess I'll just put it here. Take a little hole. Okay, so first we're going to dig a, a three-high, two-wide hallway. Just as many blocks back as you want. I'm just going to dig a couple blocks in. Because uh, there's really no point in making a... COAL! There's really no point in making a massive one. <laughs> Low, I'm finding all these minerals when I'm doing this. And I'm not actually supposed to be using anything I collect. Okay, so there we go. Now, we're going to want to put... Some holes above here. Which is where we're going to be placing... Nope, sorry. Dig back one. <laughs> okay, holes up here. That's where we're going to be placing our water. Now we're going to want a hole too deep either side, and in each of these we're going to be placing a sticky piston. You can either put it up there, um, yeah, yeah, that's probably the best place to put it, honestly, yeah, just, just, just follow me. I'm a good teacher, honest. So, hole either side with a block in it, uh, I guess I'll just use stone, and these are what come across to block the flow of the water. Okay, now go down, and for these three, you're going to want... A too deep hole on either side, like so. And this is the back wall. Basically, when the door is closed, these pistons will extend, and all you see is a rock face behind it. That way, you know, there isn't some kind of obvious hole behind the water, which would, you know, indicate that there might actually be something there. So, when you got all that, all your pistons in place, now it's time to start tearing apart the wall. Um, this is a slightly complicated if you don't understand really how redstone works, but um, if you know what you're doing as far as redstone, it's pretty simple. So, um, I guess just follow what I do, and the other side is going to be a mirror image of this. So, redstone torch there, redstone torch there, and we'll just get rid of all of this crap. We're going to be covering all this up, by the way, so... It's, uh, it may look like a mess now, but, uh, it'll look just as natural as the one over there. Redstone torch. Oh, God. 
<laughs> don't want a shovel. Why do we even have that? Oh, right, dirt. Uh, go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that. Right. Redstone torch there. And hollow out this and that. Okay. Block and a torch. Here we're going to be building some vertical redstone wiring. And uh, vertical redstone wiring is one of the most useful things I think I've ever found in Minecraft, and I've gone, I've gone ahead and built it wrong already. Man, <laughs> take one more back. Lol, I am such a bad teacher, I swear. Okay, so vertical redstone wiring basically works like this. Block, torch, block, torch, block, torch. It'll carry the current up, but it'll invert it every time, so you've got to keep an eye on that. Put a block at the bottom. Uh, I mean, it gets rid of the block at the bottom. A herb derp. A derp a do. Okay. And we're gonna power this block using the redstone current from this wire. And right here, I'm gonna dig a hole down. I guess I'll just go down. Wow, I found some iron. <laughs> what am I getting hurt by? Uh. Okay, random damage. I guess the game just doesn't like me cheating. Well, guess what, game? You can go screw off. Okay, so we've basically set up this side. We'll just put another piece of redstone there. That side's basically set up. Now we just got to do the, for the, the same for the other side. So I'll just see you in a sec when I've made a mirror image of this over here. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've made a mirror image uh, exactly like it right over this side. Uh, I've left this here because I'm trying not to damage the rock face, but, um, yeah, pretty much exactly the same and stuff. <clears throat> okay, anyway, so uh, now that you've done that, we're going to want to connect the two sides, and once again, we're going to use the magical, magical powers of the magic redstone wiring. And when I say that, I mean a vertical redstone wiring. So dig a hole, let's see, what are we, one, two, three, four down... On either side, what are we on this side? By the way, I'm using fly and no clip, just for the uh, purpose. This is just this video is just for educational purposes, <laughs> if you want to say that. This is yeah, I'm cheating. Okay, honestly, I'm cheating. Sue me. Anyhow, um, hello cave. Okay, <laughs> if you run into a cave, don't fall into it and take damage. So let's just brick that off. I guess I'll explore that later. Uh, you know, when I'm actually doing an LP part that doesn't involve cheating. Right, so now that we've done that, we're going to want to put some more redstone wiring. And when I say that, I mean vertical redstone wiring. So block. No. Fail. Let's put a block there. Torch there. Block on top of the torch. And... Redstone on top of that block. And do the same for this side. Block. Block. Torch. Block. Okay. I am lagging because of the rain. <laughs> I don't like rain in Minecraft. It makes me lag like a boss. Anyway, now that we've done that... Um... Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what? Just trying to figure out why it's... Uh, did I forget to put the wire? Yep. <laughs> I was about to say, why is it... Why is it different? But I forgot to put the wire. Yes! Don't be like me and fail at this. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll never get anything done. Okay, now that we've done that, we'll just quickly no-clip through the ground. Just, uh, just to cheat. And, uh, block... There. The torch on top of that. And we'll link these two together with a piece of wire. So now, both sides are gonna be linked together. Now we're going to get into the guts of what actually controls it. So we're going to dig out a little area just underneath it here. And uh, in here, we're going to be putting what's called a T-flip-flop. And for those of you that are going, what on earth is a T-flip-flop? You're crazy, obviously. You've been, like, sniffing something. Uh, a T-flip-flop is a type of logic gate. Uh, and if... <sighs> Basically, it makes things happen. It makes cool things happen. When it receives a pulse of redstone electricity, redstone power, whatever you want to call it, it'll flip. So you basically, it allows you to have a button that will turn something on or off. So we're going to go ahead and just make a small, very compact version of that. Just right in here. Uh, 
See, we need a hole that is four wide. And one of the, down there, you put a torch, piston, piston, break this, a block there, two blocks on top. Make sure you leave a space open here. Now, when this block is above the torch, power will be sent to all of those. We go ahead and put two pieces up there and a torch on either side and that's our T-flip flop. So now we need a way to put power into it, which is the simple part. We're just going to hook it up to a switch and then that's basically it. That's our door. So the switch is normally the more difficult part because you've got to find a way to like weave around all of the redstone bull crap. But uh, normally I kind of put this, I put the switch like right about here and um, that works out pretty well. You can run the wire around, sort of out and around to the front, uh, to power the front, you know, if you have a switch out there as well. <coughs> Excuse me, I am burping, which is where the repeaters come in. Other than that, you pretty much won't need a repeater unless, of course, you're planning on building this very far away from where you're putting your switch. Okay, uh, it looks like I'm a block too low, so I'm going to have to come up one. Like this. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, did I connect that up right down there? Yeah. Okay. Wire and screw it. We'll just put a dirt block. It doesn't matter. Now I'm going to need a switch. And we'll just quickly test it. There we go. Okay, so now we've got all that in place. Um, and I apparently put, forgot to put a block there. There. You know what, I might want to just hook up a switch here just to, uh, just to test it. So, uh, let's just no-clip through the wall again. Oh, look, here's the ravine that I found! Lol. Okay, um, oh god, we're running out of time, I better do this quickly. Uh, okay, so, just quickly, like, ultra super quickly. Now, you know what, we don't really need to run a wire through the front. Uh, we'll just break this and put water in there quickly, because otherwise it'll get rid of all my wiring. Okay, so this is basically all set up now. This is ready to go. As soon as I flip a switch, or flip the switch out here, it'll switch over. Uh, now your only job is to cover up the front and make it look completely inconspicuous. Obviously, you want to cover up all of the pistons, all of that, any block that might give away that there's actually something hidden here you're going to want to cover up. Uh, I guess I'll just use dirt, since it's the only thing I have a lot of right now. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Yeah, you, can, you totally can't tell there's anything here. Well, as you, can, as you can see with my other one, I covered that up pretty well. I mean, it's not very conspicuous at all. But, uh, that is how you make a super secret waterfall door. So I go ahead and flip the switch. It's closed. No clip through the wall. You can see the pistons. Failure. There we go. That actually looks a bit better than the, uh, the first one. The waterfall looks a lot more natural. Anyway, we'll go ahead and open it again. So we can get out. There we go. And I guess I'll just put another chest full of ender pearls in there. So hopefully you guys understood all of that. I don't blame you if you didn't, because I had to go pretty fast, and those of you that don't understand redstone might have a little bit of a problem with it, but just copy what I did, and you'll have a perfectly functioning waterfall door in no time. So next episode, I'll uh, have all the cobblestone to uh, build my house collected, and we'll begin building my mansion on top of the hill up there. So I guess I'll see you guys then. In the side of a cliff, so why don't we just open up the guts of this, I'll give you a quick look. Base oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, God, it destroyed it.